I'm pretty sure that if you do some project management that at some point you build a Gantt chart. And a Gantt chart is basically just a bar chart with one bar for each project or activity that shows where it starts and where it ends and the duration. So as a starting point, we of course need some data with the different projects. So we have a project column here, a starting date, the duration, and the ending date. Now let's get started by inserting a normal stacked bar chart. And then on it, we are going to place, first of all, the different project. And then we can take the duration in days and put that one onto values. I'm gonna take over here the starting date and put it into the tooltips. If I hover over project A, you can see that the starting date there is the 15th of August 21. And then for project B, we have as a starting date, the 21st of August 21. So 21 minus the 15, six days difference. So that means I want to move the bar for project B six days to the right, okay? Now to do that, we first need a measure that finds the overall starting date because we will be scaling everything to that starting date, okay? So that was measure number one. Now we need another one that will check the starting date for each project and compare that to the overall starting date and then basically calculates the number of days difference. And that is how many days we need to push the bar to the right. So I'm going to take padding left and put it right above duration. We can just go here to format and then data colors, padding left, make it white. And boom, there you go, we have our Gantt chart. However, it's still a little bit ugly. So let's make some formatting changes. Okay, so our Gantt chart starts to look a little bit prettier, but of course we can do still a little bit better. For example, it would be nice to have a line that shows where we are. So basically a constant line for today. Now, to do that, we first need a measure again. And then we can go back to a chart, analytics, constant line, and add the constant line for today. Now, the magic comes from the FX button that you find here under value. And here we can say that we want to format by field value and base it on the field that we just created. So let's go to project, constant line today. So now we know where we are today on a project timeline. However, we don't have a feeling for where the months start and end. Now here, I could again make use of the constant lines and follow basically the same logic. I also want to show the name of the month. So this we can do by adding a data label. And then here for the text, I just want to show the name. Instead of month one, let's rename it then to September. And the same thing I can do for the next month. So now we have brackets for the month as well. Now let's add one more feature to our Gantt chart. Maybe you want to have some conditional formatting based on the status. 